Hi guys, this is Maria. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing one of my most requested videos is our playroom tour. I filmed playroom tours previously and you can go back and look how this room looked with one kid at 18 months, with two kids at one and three, and now I have um, almost a three-year-old and almost a five-year-old. So things have changed a lot. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. I um, am inspired by Montessori approach. Both my children go to Montessori school. I love open-ended toys, but at the same time, I'm open for the free creative, creative play. So you will see all of it in this playroom. I don't homeschool, but I do devote certain amount of time on educational materials and our playroom is pretty much broken down in sections. I would also like to use this video to ask you all, everybody who is watching this video, if there is anything you would like to see on my channel in 2020 that I'm not filming yet. I'm getting ready to film my channel promo uh, for 2020 and I'd like to hear from you. Please leave it in the comments below. And without further ado, let's do the tour. We will start right here and I will just share with you. This is mainly educational area for the kids. There's lots of materials for all kinds of development. So these are brain blocks. These are planks. You can build pretty much anything out of. Oh, I found it. Oh my gosh. So baby Justin um, pulled off this clock that was used to hang there and I used the push pin. Uh, good lesson for me. I'm not doing it again and I couldn't find it and I just found it. Right, you can back. build with the brain blocks. There's also Kiva planks, um, which are very similar. They all do the same thing. They're just, you can build anything. My children really enjoy it. Scarlett mainly loves this one. Scarlett is my almost five-year-old. She's four and a half right now. Okay, so let's go here. This is a felt clock from Target. I've uh, got it to learn the time. Um, so that's what we use that for as far as our activities. These are um, Montessori inspired uh, sensory plates with different types of sandpaper. I did the whole video on how I made those and all other sensorial materials from Montessori. These are my letter works and all kinds of materials for learning the alphabet. I have flashcards with uh, letters. And I have this one from Melissa and Doug. I'm sure you've seen it, but it's basically you just put all kinds, like you just find the letters in here. It's great material for both my, um, for my two-year-old and for my four-year-old. All right, I'm gonna go up here first. We'll finish here. These are cylinders. It's a Montessori sound cylinders. It's also a sensorial material, typically used with three-year-olds. So what you do, you find the matches. If you want to learn more, again, I'll link the video about those right here. These are my spinny blocks. I actually just uh, shared them with you in my recent new homeschool materials video, but I love those. Like you can see them here. They have different consonants in the middle and it, it's great for um, pre-readers, the kids that are getting ready to read. These are my geometrical shapes from uh, learning resources. This is Montessori inspired material. It's not a true Montessori, but we learned the shapes with that one. This is also one of my latest materials I recently shared. This is the alphabet puzzle. Goes through all of the letters. I've been loving this one. Work with it a lot right now. This one is from Melissa and Doug. This is a Montessori counting um, plates. Um, the reason it was put away because Scarlett already is very good at her uh, counting through 10. They go only through 10. And with baby Justin, I'm working only on a few numbers at this point. Uh, this is my pattern work we do patterns with this one and this are counting bears from learning resources um great for many activities that we do with them this one probably has been in my playroom for the longest time out of all materials this one is from plant toys and it is uh learning how to count these pretty much one through ten uh, this is mainly Justin's material at this All point. of this is standing on a shelf from Target, and these are not the threshold, it's the other cheaper ones. I like those for a playroom. It was really good height for when the kids were smaller, they could pull themselves up safely on them. 
All right, so moving on here. Hi, I have uh, animals mainly from Safari, LTD. Kids still like to play with those. Um, we do habitats, we do many cool things. Right there, up there is the light from Ikea. We have actually three of them. I'll just spin around, you can see. And um, we use them at this night. This here is more of the creative, imaginative, all kinds of funky play area. And it has a bunch of odd stuff, I would call it. Here is name puzzles. This is a really cool puzzle for pattern making as well, learning shapes. These are kaleidoscopes. I don't know if you can see. My mom brought those from Japan. The kids really like it. State map. Scarlet learning her states right now. This is Justin's puzzle. And this much much of shapes. Kids still like it. This probably has been in my playroom also for a very, very long time. This is a Montessori screwing material. It's also used for multiple activities. This set of boxes has been with us since Scarlett was a baby. And they're just amazing. She uses it as plates, as all kinds of imaginative play. You'll be surprised all the things you can make with those boxes. Okay, and here I have the stackers from Grimm's. I did uh, a video. Grimm's stackers. Um, I filmed about three or four months ago a video showing everything we own from like infancy up until this age as far as uh, open-ended wooden toys. And I mentioned that the, the stackers from Grimm's have never really been played by my kids. And everybody mentioned, put them out. That's how you can do it. I put them out and honestly... Hmm, I mean, they kind of play with them, but not all. Right, here's another kind of kid toy, but my kids still like it. It's this toy farm from Melissa and Doug. They, it has multiple different um, locks. So it's really good for fine motor skills development. And it comes with a few animals that are stuffed inside there. Over here is baby Justin's collection of balls. He likes balls a lot. Here I have this pounding tower. Also, it has been with us for a very, very long, very long time. Still, still is played with, surprisingly. You would think that the kid would outgrow it, but no. Here I have puppets. I have all kinds of puppets. I also have finger puppets from Ikea, which are fun. So we do play with those. Uh, as a pet, we have a bearded dragon. So in my reading corner on top here, you will see like a cricket habitat and all kinds of stuff. I will uh, show you Pasquale. Uh, he is now probably about seven or eight months. So we've had him since July of this year. And uh, yeah, he's cute. Right, so here's all the Pasquale stuff. Cricket quencher, calcium fortified liquid, cricket sitting in there. The reason why this is so broken is because they break the moment you buy them. Uh, I have the globe, kids like that thing. And here we have many, many, many books. And then on the bottom, I have all kinds of activities. Oh, this puzzle, I've never, I think I've never shared it. I'll do a separate video, I'll show it to you. But this is USA map and they love, love, love that one. Um, King Arthur, this is just a pop-up book, which is really cool. And preschool learning library, something we do together. Right, so here's this area here. Uh, this soft blocks, oh, hands down, in every single one of my playroom tours, I'm telling this is one of the best, best things to ever buy for your children. So this train is from NC Pants and it was in a very, very heavy use for years. It kind of slowed down now, so it might be transitioning out. Over there we have a, a heater because it's winter time right now and also Roomba plugged in this giraffe. I can't remember where it's from, but kids like it. They like to decorate it and stuff. All right, so this is my dinosaur area because both of my children like dinosaurs and Pasquale who is a bearded dragon is somewhat of a dinosaur. So that's why he lives in the dinosaur area. He's got some cabbage leaves right there. Christmas, baby Justin's collection of dinosaurs have grown quite a bit. He has this dinosaur habitat. He's got this T-Rex. I mean, any kind of dinosaur you can imagine. He's got this T-Rex. He loves T-Rexes. Then this tub with like smaller dinosaurs where you can make habitat. I actually got that back when Scarlett was little because Scarlett at the age of two used to love it as well. And we got more dinosaurs, alligators, snakes, and all kinds of reptiles in here. And this is a dinosaur of Cretaceous period and a few dinosaur outfits. Here is Pasquale, you guys. We still don't know if he is a boy or a girl. And um, yeah, that's how big... He or she is, it's, I'm gonna have to film like this. I don't know if you can see. Um, so as far as owning a bearded dragon, 
uh, it was a good choice for us to get it because it showed us that we're not ready for a cat or a dog. Bearded dragons are really, really low maintenance and even his really low maintenance still falls through the cracks sometimes like we don't have time to go pick up the crickets and we do have a very busy lifestyle like we travel a lot get on the road um so just a breakdown very easy pet it's great uh kids love it um downside it's crickets and uh worms so i had to get over that part of it uh, all you need to do is clean out the habitat poops about every day i would say as they get older they don't need as many crickets or worms and they don't poop as much um can be happily staying in its habitat for like a day without being held or anything you do want to hold them though when they're little because then they get um it, it gets harder with them Right, well, that's the breakdown. Right, so this is the creative area for the kids. We changed the table. It's bigger since the kids got older. At the top here, I have several activities. So the first one is the one that you use to poke out the image. Then the pom-poms with um, clothespin. I do lots of activities with that one. Just Play-Doh. And um, I have this beads for making necklaces with pipe cleaners. Or the thread and under here i have like a hodgepodge of materials paint stickers all kinds of things that you might need and some coloring books and other stuff this is also a creative area it does have some learning materials like those numbers that i recently shared that's the top with those numbers over here i have pegs shape mags um writing without tears felt money kind of a hodgepodge and i feel like there's something else in there oh and that material for writing as well again if you want to know more about any materials check out my playlist i do reviews for everything i own here is the pattern making blocks this is the recent one and this is the one um i've used with kids when they were younger i still have it out here because we have both of them on the top here i have those really cool rockets that baby justin likes and this maze marble maze for younger children that baby justin still likes as well and in the box here i have the blocks from um plant toys it's a castle blocks it's actually two sets mixed together moving on to the fun fun part of our playroom this is scarlet cinderella castle with a bunch of barbies then we have a smaller dollhouse right here. So this castle is from Kidcraft. It was her last Christmas gift. This was two years ago Christmas gift. And it's where the little girls are. It has some furniture. This is the recent one. And I love this thing. Um, it's like a changing table for her babies. This is her bassinet with her baby. Here she has clothes. And there's some cookies for them. We were making... Uh, Santa cookies, you put the baby in here. There's a baby changing table. There is uh, a baby, we call it mommy bag, that has everything you need to take care of babies. And there's just a cupcake she loves. And over here is where all of her baby clothes is that is hanging, like the cuter one. And we have two babies and we have a stroller. And over here and we have Scarlett sitting in her chair, taking care of her baby. She just woke up while I was filming this video. So this is how it looks like over I here. just shared Scarlett's domain, pretty much a full girly stuff over there. And this is where baby Justin has his cars. So this is a kid craft table. I mean, this was one of the best gifts for a boy you can think of. And not only it's cool and he still loves playing with it, but it also has storage in here, which is not very used right now. I can put the cars underneath there he has all of his pruder trucks this is the one from this christmas this is the mac truck here from his birthday two years ago this is another christmas gift that he loves this is full of cards right now here's another storage right there and here's some more toys and then here i have his garage which is kind of cool because all this goes down. He likes to fill up the gas. I mean, this is like little boy's heaven right here. And his dinosaurs. And I want to share with you this Duplo table. So this is a total of four sets from Duplo. 
One is the Elsa Castle right here. It's covered in the background. Um, this is another set. It was this excavator and a dump truck from Duplo with a few figurines. And then the other one is Mickey um, cupcake store or whatever. And another one is Baby Justin's Minnie Mouse. Mickey Mouse, uh, like a winter chalet, and you could flip these things. And then I got this separately, and I just used those little things to attach it to one of the tables that we've had. And we made for a little cool Duplo City. We actually played yeah, with those. Duplos are totally awesome from about four. I feel like it kind of depends on the kid. Baby Justin is into building things, but I don't think he took on two Duplos, and it just might be the age thing because Scarlett loves them. We do play together, and we play. Uh, it's more like imaginative, creative play, kind of like all this stuff here. Over here, I have this throwing thing from my Ikea and the Listen Duck fishing game. And I've never shared this with you. This is my storage area. It's not perfect, but it's the first time I'm actually ready to show it. So up here, I have artwork, another bin with artwork, and this is like baby toys in the middle that I went through everything and I got rid of probably about two bags of stuff that we are donating. And Scarlett was so sweet. She uh, donated some toys as well. This is a bin with hodgepodge of toys, kids toys. And this one just has a few things as well. And this is where I mainly kept the crafts that I'm switching up and all kinds of materials. It's a little messy. And like I have some more things stored back there. So we left the playroom, but I wanted to share with you this area here that I have. Uh, that's their kitchen with some play Most food in it and lots of my videos. And that's what I want to share with you. Recently, we stayed over at our friend's house and she had made this one for her four-year-old as well. And I thought it was absolutely genius. So this is a utility cart from Ikea. It's called Rascog. I'll link it for you I below. I used to have all these supplies in the drawer and it was always a mess because kids would pull it out and then I would pull it back in and we couldn't find anything. So this way to organize it is absolutely amazing. I love it. Again, it's Rascog for my kids, $29.99. Here I have their wiki sticks. I've got the magic pads. I got uh, our stinking potty, markers, paints. And all of their workbooks, coloring books, sticker books are all at the top. And it's all divided by this metal divider right there. And I roll it inside my closet at night and during the day just stands here. I honestly have not seen a better way to organize it. So thank you, Dana, for giving me and my subscribers this idea. I hope you guys enjoyed this playroom tour and it gave you some ideas. Again, make sure to check out all of the videos with my toys and activities and all kinds of things that I've reviewed uh, previously. If you love this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel for the similar content and make sure to leave me a comment below on what you would like to see from me in 2020. I will see you soon.